Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Saturday morning, and the great internet outage of 2018 is finally over. So, <laughs> I'll be able to upload a little bit today, which is good. I like to do that. So, anyway, I thought today we could take a look at these little lights we have here. Now, I haven't forgotten about our amplifier project. Still working on it. Can't get this 89833 to work. I can get it to output a signal, but it's not doing what I want. So, guys, just going to have to be patient while I try and get that thing to bend to my will. In the meantime, I've got this set of uh, six under counter lights from a company called LE Ever. And are they LE Ever bright? But they're kind of unique, so I thought we could talk a little bit about that. They're powered off of a 12 volt, 2 amp wall wart. Whoa! Watch this. Get them to come up. There we go. That just really blows out the camera. They are super bright. There are 42 LEDs in each of these strips. So, 42, 12 volts, so they're wired parallel groups of threes, about three and a half. Now, these come with some really interesting accessories here. So I thought that's something that we could take a look at and what makes these kind of neat. Now, the first accessory that it comes with is this little attachment here. But before we get into that, let me just show you. They come with all of these, which have little fittings here that just go together like this, or perhaps it's like this, yeah, like that. And then you can attach them together quite easily. Oh, looks like somebody didn't take the plastic strip off of that. So it makes it for, you know, quite nice mounting. Everything there is very easily done. So we use this box so that we get a consistent reading. And we'll turn them on at their highest setting. So, 1734 times 10, 17,340 lux. Now that's pretty bright. Here is the brightest flashlight I have. Let me get it. In its brightest mode, and you can see that is just dazzling. And what we'll do is we'll use this so that we get the same distance effect here. And it's not as bright as these under counter lights. Which goes to tell you, they're pretty doggone bright. So being the geeks and nerds that we all are, I figure we could do a little bit of testing and see where we're at. So first we'll just test the output voltage here 12.35 yes that's unloaded and you people are always well, hey, it's unloaded doesn't matter it does matter we want to see what the general output range of that is so next let's have a look at the current between the strips oops forgot to put my microphone on there okay so in addition to these clips to put the sections together, they also give you some wires. And these are nice, heavy-duty wires. Let's see what they say on them. 22 AWG wire, 80 degrees C, 
and they are eh, three feet long. So what I've done is I've tapped into one of them so that we can check the current. And yes, I tin the ends. Why do I tin the ends? I tin everything because back when I was in basic electricity and electronics training in San Diego in the U.S. Navy, Chief Reyes, my instructor, threatened my life if I didn't tin everything. So it's just stuck with me all these years. Chief Reyes threatened my life for just about everything. That was his teaching method. And for a very small, very angry Filipino man, it was quite effective. I was generally afraid of him. Okay, so we've got the meter here. And let's, uh, let's go with milliamps. And we'll plug her in. And hopefully nothing blows up, right? All right, you guys can see everything in the shot. So we'll turn it on. And at our lowest setting, we're looking at 25.55 milliamp. So 25 milliamp at 12 volts, we're looking at about 300 milliwatts. Medium setting, 94.9. And we're looking at 1.1 watts. High setting, 242, giving us almost 3 watts. Very, very nice. Okay, quality wise, these are uh, aluminum. Let's see if we can zoom in here. And we can read what we got here. 4 watt input voltage, 12 volt DC. Color is uh, 3000 degrees Kelvin and 300 LM. Smart lighting holding limited in Hong Kong. Anyway, they are very nice. We've got a plastic covering over them. Now, I don't believe, <laughs> excuse me. I don't believe them to be waterproof, but let's call them moisture proof. Okay, let's see if we can uh, open one of these up and have a look inside, and have a look at it safety wise. Okay, let's zoom in here and hopefully you guys can see. No, she don't want to focus. There we go. There appears to be a teensy tiny screw in there. And it appears to be tighter than a frog's ass, so give me a second. I think I've almost got them out. There's some long little screws in there. Okay, there we go. Next, we need to remove the plastic which shouldn't be too hard at all. I say as I can't figure out how to remove the plastic. Because <laughs> that's how life goes, right? Something doesn't look too hard. It... Oh, those need some PB Blaster. Holy crap, one minute, those are thick. Okay, I was able to remove one from the packaging. It wasn't too difficult. I simply had to remove the connector from the other end. So what we've got here is your standard fiberglass PCB. Now that's good and that's bad. Good because it's low cost. Bad because it's gonna be really bad for thermal conduction. Now you've basically got an enclosed aluminum thing here. We've got no exposed contacts, contacts on the back, but we have no thermal conduction to the aluminum. So these are gonna get a little bit hot. 
So for the next test, I'm going to power one of these up, heat it up, and we'll put a thermocouple on and see where it ends up. Okay, it's been hooked up running for about a half an hour. I got the thermocouple running in there. I've sealed off the ends with duct tape, which of course is the best possible material for anything you ever want to do. Now this is warmer than room temperature to the test touch and you can see we are at 36 degrees Celsius and let's brighten that up a little bit 24 degrees is the ambient room temperature so it is 12 degrees higher than ambient not bad at all let's get that unplugged so we don't blind ourselves here <laughs> all right so here is the box i know you're like what i don't care about the box so i just wanted to show you a couple things if you want to contact the company information us uk germany random information you can look at no uh, UL listing but what do you expect so my conclusions I like it I think they are well built they are aesthetically pleasing by giving us the wires and the connecting clips they've given you two options on how to put it together um, very bright warm white not not the cold white so everything gets a blue tinge they seem to be not striving to put out the cheapest product on the market but to put out a quality product they even have a little card if you're happy you turn it this way if you're not happy you turn it this way they give you a little bit of information these are available in my Amazon store there's a link down below in the description they're about forty dollars again I like them I want to thank uh, Ellie ever lighting for sending these for our consideration and uh, they're gonna have a place here in the shop I'm taking you off here so we're going handheld everything's a complete mess here but here is my uh, current bench lighting scheme soon to be replaced with these so that's going to just about conclude this video but i want to say before i go the fcc which is the federal communications uh, corporation which is the government regulating body for radios and uh, basically any communications in the united states has granted me my vanity call sign i am now whiskey whiskey eight papa romeo so any of you guys on hf hear my call sign out there please give me a call tell me you've seen uh, the videos you watch the channel I'd like to hear from you I can usually be found evenings on the 40 meter NATA net uh, you can google it N-A-T-A dot net it's the national traffic and awards net on 7.185 megahertz or somewhere close to somebody's already occupying that frequency stop by say hi have some fun thanks for watching don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. I couldn't do the things we do on this channel without you guys. You keep it going. You mean the world to me. But not just the patrons. Every one of you. You guys are my friends, my buddies. I count on hanging out with you each and every day. Which is why the internet outage made me crazy for two days. I mean, yes, I could film, but I couldn't really upload. I would eat up all the data on my phone in about one video. So anyway... That's it. I'm out. Peace.